Three words for you. Autonomous grenade launcher. Wait, let me add to that. Loitering rocket launcher drone. Hang on, there's more. Drone mounted machine guns. Those are some of the autonomous or semi-autonomous systems under development with Aimlock, who brought the goods to Softweek recently. Want to see what a flying rifle with precision sights looks like? Have a look. What you see behind me is integrations of legacy weapon systems like light anti-tank weapons, uh, grenade launchers, machine guns, which have been integrated with the autonomy to commercial and military specific uh, unmanned aerial systems and ground vehicles. So this capability gives warfighters the chance to have faster engagement times, better accuracy, and more standoff from uh, the front line of the battlefield. To my right, you'll see a product that's called RS2. This is a small remote weapon station that's optimized for rocket launching, grenade launching, and belt-fed machine gun delivery for unmanned aerial systems. It can also be used in unmanned ground and surface vessels as well. Uh, in the center, you see the RS1 weapon station. This one's optimized for 5.56 and 7.62 small rifles. This gives snipers the ability to provide armed overwatch even when they don't have their own ability to uh, find a good observation point. Here, RS-4 is a larger weapon station that's optimized for long-range precision engagement. It uh, features a direct drive transmission and uh, long-range optics as well. Semi-autonomous precision targeting uses automation for target acquisition and advanced fire control, but all of the decision making for lethality is controlled by a human operator. Sometimes this is in the loop where they have a direct uh, engagement command and sometimes it's on the loop where they're observing automated d defensive fire and can shut down the systems whenever they need to. So the human sniper is conducting the mission pretty much as normal. They're uh, detecting targets, classifying them, deciding whether or not they're a threat that needs to be engaged right away, and then they manage the specifics of the fire control system, which gives them the proper aiming position, and then it releases the safety and trigger for the weapon. Drones have a widely varied endurance. You'll see long-range drones that are highly efficient, can travel 20, 30, 40 kilometers while carrying uh, weapon systems like this. Uh, but many drones that are smaller and more convenient may only have a 10 to 20 minute endurance mission. These weapon systems regarding price tend to fall in between ex exquisite defense systems and low cost high volume systems. So they have a much higher performance rating than low cost high volume systems, but they don't have a long uh, lead time for manufacturing, nor do they have multi-million dollar program costs uh, the way your legacy exquisite systems do. The next stage for AIMLOX to make sure that these capabilities are made available to all of the mission units that have a requirement or a need for this type of enhanced uh, capability. So as you see, more and more frequently, more units are trying to remote control the delivery of effects. They're gonna find that these are pretty valuable for that mission set.